I'm Brian Winnikins at the Commodity Classic, and we would like to thank our Commodity Classic sponsors, and they include BASF and Abyssilo of Durand, the Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, Darylin Equipment Services, Plainview, Minnesota, and Woodville, Wisconsin. Also, uh, the Wisconsin Soybean Growers Association, BASF, Ashley Gaussman, your advisor for Northwest Wisconsin, and also the Wisconsin Corn Growers Association. I am with Andrew Hamilton with CHS, and we are going to talk about some big changes farmers coming up uh, for the oil that you use for your equipment. This could be some bad news here, so uh, you're going to want to listen up. And uh, Andrew, thank you for joining us today. We have some changes coming from the federal government, which is going to be changing our oils for diesel fuel uh, engines. Tell us about that. Well, Brian, I wouldn't want to call it bad news, but it's certainly going to be more confusing at times. There are changes that are coming. There is a result of the fuel economy mandates from the federal government. They're going to go into effect, you know, a year from now. But in order to get prepared for that, diesel engine manufacturers and diesel engine oil manufacturers have had to come up with ways to be able to get to that fuel economy. And one of the ways that they have done that is by creating a divide in the engine oils that will take place starting this December, where we will have one version of oil that will be backward compatible and another version of oil that will not be backward compatible. And those will still be the same VIS grades. So you'll have two different versions of 10W30. And where the problem for the farmer will come in is how do they know which oil they should be using? And so for CHS, we've been working on this for over a year now. We've been making sure that we consider all the different needs that the farmer has and for simplification and being connected to certain products, names, viscosities, things like that. And so we're putting together our plans now. We'll be rolling that out through the farm cooperative system, doing meetings, talking to people through our magazine, the C Magazine. We've also got on our website, senex.com, information that will help the farmer be able to understand, especially if they're getting new equipment. Because with the new equipment, there will be implementation of some of these changes, especially if they have tractor combine and then they have an over-the-road truck. Maybe they're hauling their own you know, materials in and out of the farm, that truck might actually have a need for a different oil than what they've been using in the tractor and the combine. So it is going to be confusing. Again, we're with Andrew Hamilton from CHS. Of course, Countryside Co-op uh, in Durand will have a lot of information on this as well as time moves on. So, Andrew, you mentioned the compatibility part of it. So this new oil would not be we couldn't use this new oil that's not backward compatible in our older equipment. It would actually damage it. I wouldn't say it would damage it, per se, but it will definitely have less power. Uh, the fuel economy won't be there. Um, in a short-term situation, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But if you were to use it permanently, that forward thinking or the, 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 the divide has already been named. So we have CK4, which is on the backward compatible side of things. And then we have FA4, which is going to be the forward or futuristic oils, okay? The FA4 oils right now, the manufacturers are saying, we don't want those oils in certain engines, certain pieces of equipment. We don't want them to be backward compatible. So as we're working through this, we're still learning what the manufacturers want and what the actual deliverables will be on the performance of the engine, the fuel economy, those types of things. We know for certain that the CK4 oils will be backward compatible and will take care of everything on the farm as it has. But it is still yet to be determined how confusing this will be. Our perception is that without somebody that you're working with full time to understand what's going on with petroleum products, you could become confused. So that's why we're preparing for that. That CK4, will that be able to be used in the new equipment yes. or, or not? It will be able to be used in new equipment. And what will happen is, is that the engine manufacturer will say, this engine should use a CK4 product. Other manufacturers will say this engine should use an FA4 product. So even depending on what manufacturer, we could have a different oil. I could have CK4 in my tractor, but in my truck it's got to be the FK4, and in my combine it's got to be a combination of the two. It's, it's <laughs> definitely going to have those elements that people are going to just need to pay attention to it. You know, the days of oil is oil are over. The days of just trying to have one product take care of everything Really, you can't get the sophistication that farming equipment needs to have today and still carry that forward. So even in the hydraulics, the transmissions, they're becoming more sophisticated. As we look at some of this equipment that's around us today, that equipment is 
dramatically more sophisticated than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. The sensors in it, the filters, you know. It used to be we had 50 micron filters on our oils. Now we've got five. If you don't have a good oil, if you don't have a properly formulated oil, farmers don't want to change oil as frequently. How do you keep an oil in the equipment longer? You have to use synthetics or you have to use synthetic blends because the heat that is now being generated in these engines and in these transmissions and stuff is dramatically taking the life of that oil down. So you use better oils, you'll get better performance out of your equipment. And because the equipment is more sophisticated, it's a natural fit. So farmers be watching uh, for more information from CHS, uh, most likely through Countryside Co-op as well uh, in Duran. They'll be uh, updating farmers on this throughout the year. Andrew, again, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Brian, very much. Andrew Hamilton with CHF from CHS from Commodity Classic. I'm Brian Winnikin.